Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Cedric, and in today's video, I will be sharing my top picks for the best mobile offline games. Enjoy! Okay, so first up, we have Xenowork. This is an action shooter style game in which the setting is in a science lab where there are these alien zombie characters that you have to fight with to complete each mission. I really like this game because it feels like a PC or console game because of the high quality graphics. But also, since the graphics are pretty good, make sure that your device can handle a game like this. There are a lot of weapons as well as gear to choose from, but unfortunately you do have to pay for the full version to unlock different levels and weapons. Alright, next is Smashy Road. This is an amazing free game that has extremely easy to use controls. You can turn right or left with a simple tap on the screen. The best part about this game is that there are so many vehicles to choose from. There are also plenty of maps that never seem to end. The main goal of this game is to try to avoid getting caught by the cops and to keep collecting as much money as possible. If you survive long enough, you won't only see the police, but you also see that there are tanks and choppers. As I said earlier, this game has a large collection of up to 90 vehicles as of now, and once you earn them, you can pick the one you like most depending on your playing style. Up next is Hungry Shark. This game will give you the best virtual experience if you're curious to see what's happening underwater. You basically take on the role of a shark and you constantly have to feed that shark from a variety of underwater creatures in order to keep your shark alive and to avoid its health from falling to zero. There are two types of controls, touch and tilt. You can try both to see which one works best for you. The 3D graphics are really nice in this game and you essentially have a really creative map to explore with different sharks. You can complete certain missions assigned to certain sharks to earn more coins and to use them toward getting another shark or use them to accessorize your current shark. The real benefit of getting a bigger shark and better shark is that you will have access to go deeper into the water and you'll be able to eat a larger variety of creatures without having to worry about your health. There are lots of cool sharks to choose from, and every now and then, you'll get incredible discounts. So make sure you save as many gems and coins as possible while using them wisely. Next on the list, Rayman Adventures. Being completely free, this action-adventure game is really a must-have classic because it keeps you guessing about what's going to happen next. The maps are very well designed, and you basically have to fight a bunch of monsters in order to reach the end of the levels. The controls are also fairly simple to use as you just have to swipe in different directions to move your character. Once again, you can choose from a variety of characters and take along sidekicks or Incrediballs as they're called to support you on your run. Moving on, we have Head Soccer. This game combines soccer or football along with intense action to constantly keep your fingers busy. The game states in its description in the Google Play Store that you can learn the controls in one second. So I guess it's safe for me to say that most people will find this game easy to manage and fun to play anywhere. There are lots of different avatars and each one with their own special move to crush their opponents. Don't get me wrong. Although this game is fairly simple to learn, your opponent's avatars get increasingly challenging as you progress, making this game hard to master. There are also various game modes such as arcade, tournament, death mode, etc. But do note that some of them require an internet connection. So lastly, I added Inside. I kept this as a bonus game because although it's free to download, you do have to pay for the full version if you get it from the app store. The setting of the game is mostly very dark and since it's a puzzle style game, you do have to figure out unique ways to continue progressing and there are certain times when it takes well over one attempt to escape. 
It definitely makes you think creatively and outside the box. And it also really gives you a feeling that you are the kid on the screen because of the enhanced and realistic sound effects. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, please like and subscribe. If you end up downloading any of the games I showed you today, let me know in the comments which one. And don't forget to check out my other video on the top iOS and Android games for free. Thank you for watching. Bye.